Well, hi guys, I'm Lit. And I'm Coco. So this week we're actually in Preston, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're staying at a, a quite a large park called Strawberry Park. So let's go ahead and get this camera turned around and we'll take you on an abbreviated tour. So guys, this park here is in a very rural area of um, Preston, Connecticut. Um, it is a gated community. So um, most of the time we've seen they don't have a security guard here, but you do have the keypad to where you can go ahead um, and call the front desk and they go ahead and buzz you in. Um, there are two lanes for coming in. One's the visitor, one's the owner. Um, so if you are permanently here, you get the owners. If you're just staying a week or a month, you get the visitor one. Um, so this place, like I said before, is quite large. I don't know exactly how many sites. What do you think, Coco? I think they said I read it on the thing 200, okay. a little over 200 sites. Majority of these are permanent from what we can see. Um, right, like summer summer vacation spots. I think you can also rent like the lot and bring your RV, that kind of a thing. I was reading that on their website. Yeah, so we have coming up here, we have kind of a set of different amenities. So we have a, like a bocce ball pit. Right. Um, we also have a child's play ground area. We also have quite a few pickleball courts. Basketball. Let's basketball say. court. We've also got a baseball diamond. I think we go this way so we can also show the clubhouse and the pool and stuff. Yeah. So you also got horseshoe pits. Uh, you've also got cornhole. Um, playing areas. So overall though, this place is very well maintained. Just for the week that we were here, they were filling potholes, I think kind of getting ready for that summer rush. If you can hear that squeak, that's my shoes, I apologize. If you don't hear a squeak, I'll edit that out. So these are some of the places that you can also rent. They're like trailers turned into cabins. So guys, here's the uh, main office. Uh, you can also rent golf carts. Uh, inside the office is a small store which does not have a whole slew of stuff. But we also have four swimming pools, which is kind of unusual. This first one here, you have to be over the age of 21 to come into this one. There is like a little tiki bar, but I think for us it has not opened up yet. For this season. <clears throat> so then here we have a kid's splash pad. And another small playground. Then you have 
two poles I here. Think the, oh, the splash pad. Uh -huh. yeah, that I are think. families. So then up here we have an arcade for all ages, especially if you're a kid at heart, like me. So your standard claw machine, a hockey table, and some additional games. So on the weekends, we have this area here set up, which is strictly for, um, it's kind of your ice cream shop and um, snack bar. So then down there from the swimming pool, you have the maintenance area, then you have a set of steps going up, and upstairs is almost like a, oh, what would you call it? A uh, office area, activity area. Oh, I don't know. I didn't. Maybe yeah. yeah. So here's some more of the permanent sites. One thing we did notice is pretty much the sites are very, very large. Um, you definitely get your money's worth. Uh, not every site is completely level, but they are all workable. So we have coming up down here, we have the amp amphitheater. What's your big? So just a little walk down from the pool, we actually have the amphitheater and dance floor. So, and you'll see in next week's video, um, there were a few country bands that played down here. Um, it's actually an enjoyable weekend. Yeah, I think um, what was nice about it, too, when I looked at their website, they do have, like, concerts periodically throughout the summer here. And this weekend, we were lucky enough to, because we like country, that the country bands were this weekend. I can't remember what's coming up next weekend, but we were here end of May, beginning of June. Right. Next weekend is actually like the New Orleans Creole oh. Music Festival. Okay. So Yeah, it's a really nice little venue though. Yeah. You bring your own chairs. The only difference between this and other parks where they've had music venues is we did have to pay additional right. to have to come see the bands. Uh, which I honestly think you're better off building the price into the campsite versus charging an extra $65 a person. So here's more of the sites. Like I said, the majority of them are permanent sites. Up here we do have disc golf. And as you can see, down here is, is us. So like I was saying, a lot of these are very spacious sites. Yeah, the room between your neighbor is pretty good, huh? Yeah, and these ones, um, the sites kind of face each other, so I guess if you're there camping with friends, it's kind of nice that you can yeah. share the space in between. 
Uh, as you can see what I mean by not being completely level, my rear end there is almost touching the ground versus my front of the camp is almost all the way up. So each site does come with fire pit plus your uh, picnic table. Like I said, these are a lot of the permanent sites that are here. And I think people just come in either for the summer or just the weekend. So guys, that was kind of our abbreviated walk-in tour. Um, the park is much larger than, yeah. than what we've shown. But in essence, we just wanted to show a lot of the amenities and um, kind of the stuff like that. Right. So let's get into... Um, what we think. So, yeah. what do you think about this place? I think it's really nice. I loved the fact that we were able to see a concert, a couple concerts this weekend. I liked that. Um, mm -hmm. The site was un a little uneven, and unfortunately for us, I think the weather played a big factor and the amenities, just because it was really <clears> cold, <throat> too, um, the majority of the time we were here, um, so we didn't get to enjoy those. But as far as location goes, um, I liked it. Um, I would say for overall, one out of ten, I would give it a six, a or six? seven, maybe. Yeah. yeah. You? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I always like to sit and talk with neighbors and kind of yeah. um, the staff and um, the interaction I had with most of like the maintenance staff and just kind of the staff that's out on the grounds was exceptional super nice people mm -hmm. um the interactions i had with the lady at the front desk eh, not so much mm -hmm. she was a uh, to be honest she was kind of rude um even after i helped her carry some heavy boxes in that yeah. she couldn't even carry she was still rude when i asked questions and just kind of short right? short mm -hmm. um so i don't know if that's because we're moving further up north or if she's just has an off week this week so um yeah overall on on level grounds um large space right. so you you know you don't kind of you're not right on top of each other uh yeah i i would say yeah i i agree you know maybe a six out of ten um, yeah so but yeah like i say we honestly didn't get to meet anybody that was camping around us everybody kind of kept themselves to themselves a little bit yeah maybe they've seen the <laughs> channel and they know what what to expect now and they just keep no. in their distance <laughs> but we are in we didn't mention we're site 410 is what we got um again spacious 50 amp was good in that regard um pretty area yeah but... yeah um yeah, and, and, and location, it's great. We yeah, were literally, location. what, five miles from Foxwoods Casino. Casino right. Uh, which Grocery is, is close by, not too far yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, and that casino is one of the largest in the area. There's like four yeah. different casinos attached to yeah, it. Yeah, so. overall, I mean, it is nice. I just, I'm not sure about the vibe here, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Not sure. uh, Maybe that's what it is. I guess we're used to the southern hospitality. Yeah. Um, and just kind of everybody being nice and willing to hold conversations um right. that i guess we really haven't found here like yeah. i said maybe everyone's just on an off week or maybe we had an off week right. who knows right um but yeah overall yeah. six out of ten um nuts and bolts we paid 280 for right. the seven days which right. which is a reasonable price it was reasonable yeah um you do get a discount if you stay for the week i guess you even get more of a discount if you stay for a month etc um, so 280, uh, you know, paying the extra 130 to see four bands, uh, I, you know, it, it is, is what it is, but mm -hmm. we kind of enjoyed it. So, um, so yeah, overall, would you stay here again? Um, yes and no, maybe depending on if there were more country bands, maybe, or if we were with other people, yeah. maybe with like, um, friends, that kind of a thing that would, the site would be a. Yeah, 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 I, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. So, so guys, next week's video, um, we're actually going to put out a little one about um, Jordan Oaks. He was the one of the country artists that was here. Loved him. Absolutely great. Yeah, yeah. Um, so backs the blue all the way. So we got some video on him. We got a little bit of footage of the casino. So 
check that out next week. So, yeah. so guys, until next time, uh, don't forget, somewhere down here, you're going to have the little subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that if you haven't already subscribed. Go ahead, give us that thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Have you stayed here before? Um, you know, did we maybe stay at an off week? Who knows? Um, mm -hmm. Did us know, would you come stay here? Um, and then other than that, yeah, yeah until okay. next time, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.